Hi art students. I hope you're having a great week. Um, today it's time for art class and we are going to continue our pointillism drawing project. In fact, this is our last week on it, so let's get started. All right, here we go. So we are going to continue our pointillism drawing. And the main thing we want to do now is we want to add um, our values in, and we want to finish everything. So you can see that last week we kind of started everything. And basically, you want to continue your values. We have, you know, one, two, three, four, five values. I mean, and sometimes it's in between, right? For a real light value, like a, almost a white, it's going to be this one. For a kind of a light gray, it's going to be this one. Medium gray, this one. Most of my guy is medium gray. And then shadows, and then real dark shadows. And so you want to look at your object, and you want to add in all of your dots and values. And so that's what we're going to do. And then don't forget, um, when it gets to a shadow area, you are going to use more dots, right? Here, I don't want to completely finish his um, body here, right? So I'm going to fade it. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to like slowly kind of fade the dots. But then there's more of them up here. So it kind of looks like he's going to fade, right? So that's another, I mean, if you're getting close to the edge of your paper, you can do something like that. So like I have a bunch of dots here, and then they're kind of like, kind of fading, like not as many dots. And so it kind of looks like, he kind of faded there, right? Okay. Now underneath, underneath this part, there's like a fold here. It's like a shadow. So I have more dots. So more dots here. Now remember, this is my particular uh, subject matter. Yours, yours is different. So you'll use dots, and your shadows will be in different spots, and so yours will look different. There. So that kind of looks like a shadow. I'm going to kind of bring it in a little closer here. Okay. His mouth is kind of an important part to see, so I want to make sure I, I put extra dots on that line and on the bottom of his lip here, and then maybe up here too. Actually, right here. Right on top of his teeth. So you might want to emphasize certain lines so that you can see him, because you may not be able to see him very well with all the dots. So that's okay. Now, if you want, you can just, there's not much to teach here. You can pause it and try to do some more on yours or kind of fast forward to the end. But basically, this is what you're going to do. You're going to finish your pointillism. You're going to use dots. You're going to make in shadow areas, it's going to get darker. And that's really all you're going to do. So you don't necessarily have to watch everything perfectly. You can just finish your drawing. Ooh, it's taking forever. I'm going to finish my guy's mouth, and then that'll be it. Because the mouth is kind of tricky. There is a lot of black and dark in here. So I need to use a lot of dots in there. 
So let's see here. Notice how I left a little white part. That's like a highlight there. In fact, I can kind of go in here. So you can kind of see that. Okay, so now I want to go in and finish his, um, his mouth. Got his teeth here. His teeth are kind of curving into shadow, so I can put some dots here. There's a little bit of value in there. They're not perfectly white. In fact, I'm going to put a little... Okay. All right. Now I'm going to finish his tongue here. His tongue has some value, but not, not too dark. Oh, and I got to do his teeth down here too. Okay. Whew. Again, it's darker over here, so I add some more extra dots. All right. Okay. So now I'm ready for the dark part of his mouth. So there's like a million dots in here. It's really dark on the top. So I'm just going to do all these. Whew, it's going to take forever. If you ever think you, if your hand gets tired, you can take a rest, but not too long. Don't take too long of a rest, All right? Okay. Putting my dots really close. I want to make this real dark value. Well, I want to make this dark value and then this dark value in the darkest parts. So I'm kind of starting with this, the second to last one, the number fourth value. Okay, so here we go. Mm -hmm. Remember, it's better to use lots of dots really close together than just to fill it in with black. If you just fill it in with black, it won't look right. It won't look the same. So you got to really just use a lot of dots. Um, because you'll be able to see the texture. It'll match the pointillism style more. I mean, it won't be as black as pure black, but um, it will look closer to what we're trying to do. And... Um, your mind wants to see kind of all of the same style for this drawing. Whew, it's taking forever. Okay. Wow. 
Okay, so I got all of these dots in, but now um, I want some parts of his mouth to be darker, like especially up here, like on, like underneath his teeth here. So this is kind of like more in shadow. It's kind of darker, more into his mouth. So I got to make, oh well, shoot, I need some here. Okay, so right here. So this is where I'm going from this value to this value. And oh, that's a lot to do. But it'll look really good because uh, his mouth is kind of an important part of his uh, of this drawing. So it kind of pays off to like put the extra work in for this part. Oh, it's taking forever though. But it looks good when you're all done. And that's that's a thing about art. It takes you have to put in a lot of work. You have to do it's not something that happens really fast. And part of the reason why it looks good is because of all the effort you put into it and people appreciate that. So it's just not something you press a button or swipe, you know. <laughs> you don't swipe on your page and it just happens. This is like a lot of labor um, but like I said people appreciate it and it looks good and when you're all done you appreciate it and you're kinda pleased with all of the labor and hard work you put into it so oh boy is that enough let's see here I really want to be dark over here yeah it looks pretty good I think I need a little more here Okay, so that's what you want to do. You want to you want to complete your whole pointillism drawing. I'm almost there, but there's no reason there's no reason for you to watch me just add all my dots in. But basically, I'm gonna basically do all of these dots over here, all of these dots over here, and just finish up. And that's it. I mean, that's 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 the end. But make sure you finish, and I'm sure your project looks really good if you put in all those dots and it looks pretty good points points are pointillism dots and that's it that's the end of our pointillism project I I hope that when you're finished you really appreciate all the hard work you put into it and it looks great don't forget to send me a picture um, you can either upload it to canvas or take a picture of it with your iPad and send it to me um, I definitely want to see I definitely want to see what you did and how good it looks and I'll talk to you next week. So we only have a couple weeks left, and we'll probably maybe do something um, simple next time. And I'll talk to you next week. Have a nice weekend. Bye.